Good day everyone, this is Sniper Elite Resistance and finally we have a release date for the game. It's going to come out on January 30th, 2025. Now I was kind of surprised that it's going to release so soon. I thought it was going to be maybe around midway of next year, so like June, July, especially considering that Atomfall, a new game by Rebellion, is coming out in March. So for this game to come out beforehand, I'm not going to complain, but I'm very happy that's coming out for the next iteration of the Sniper Elite series. Now the information was given to us by this trailer, which is running in the background here, and shows off some new gameplay. There is some co-op shown throughout as well, but the main focus here is on this mission set on a dam. Now, after this trailer was released, at the time of this recording, it was about maybe three or four hours ago, straight after the trailer was given out, Rebellion had a live stream on Twitch and actually showed off this mission on the dam. So what I was gathered from the trailer and also what was uh, discussed during the live stream was that this mission, I believe is called Behind Enemy Lines. It acts as a prologue to the game. So maybe like a way to introduce Harry Hawker to the series uh, as a playable character in the campaign. What happens here is that the allies are trying to bomb the dam. Now, unfortunately they can't do it successfully because there's anti-aircraft guns on the dam itself preventing them from doing so so they kind of have to abort um, it's up to Harry Hawk to go in uh, destroy those anti-aircraft cannons also sabotage the dam to make it more uh, susceptible to being destroyed and then once he exfiltrates the bombers can come back and complete their mission and blow up the dam so a uh, very nice way to introduce this character that you get to play for the first I think play for the first time as a uh, in the single player campaign there uh, with his own story and everything so really looking forward to playing as Harry Hawker and, and see what else is in the game itself but a few other things that was also mentioned in the trailer and the live stream was that you probably saw at the end there's the return of the Fuhrer so I think it's now a staple in the Sniper Elite series that there's a mission to take out the Fuhrer um, in Sniper Elite 5 if you remember there was multiple ways to take him out there was the truck you could knock him over with you could sabotage the fence you could poison him you could blow up the toilet he visits as well um, you could sabotage the bowling pin to knock him out with that one, no pun intended. Um, you was the sabotage the parcel, the rat bomb, the piano bomb, so many different ways to take him out. Uh, and there was like 14 medals you could obtain from that one mission. Now I'm hoping there'll be something similar on those lines, not only to for the replayability, but also for the longevity. Um, that was definitely one of, uh, one of our favorite missions in Sniper Elite 5, there's many different ways to complete uh, taking out the target there. So will it be the same? I'm not too sure. I do hope so. Uh, feels as though it's a good opportunity to continue that once again. Uh, so we have uh, the Fira once uh, back back into this uh, into the, the series as we expected. But uh, the information we also have is you can pre-order the game now. And there's two editions. There is the standard edition, which contains the base game. And then there's also the deluxe edition, which is the base game and the season pass. Now, if you were to pre-order the standard edition, you get that uh, Target Fuhrer campaign mission. Um, you get one weapon skin, and then you also get the Car 98 rifle. Um, and continuing on that, if you were to pre-order the deluxe edition that comes with the season pass, you get those three things I mentioned, the target field campaign mission, the weapon skin, and the car 98. But then you also get the M1911 pistol and then a two day early unlock. Now, not to show what everybody feels about pre-ordering games and whatnot these days, but with uh, weapons being available for a pre-order, I hope that these weapons are available in the game if you don't pre-order it, so maybe this is a way to unlock those weapons early because uh, you know in previous iterations of Sniper Elite, we had the Car 98 and the M1911 weapons available. I don't think they were DLC weapons at all, so uh, hopefully you know they'll be part of the main game and this is just another way to get access to them quicker, sooner, uh, if you want to use those weapons for sure. So hopefully that's the case there. But moving on, I've got some other information here in regards to what was given. Now with the season pass, they actually had a bit of a roadmap. Um, this information was on the Steam website, where you can also pre-order it there. Um, I'll just read the information here about the, uh, the roadmap for the season pass. It goes, 
Carry on the fight with the Sniper Elite Resistance Season Pass. Return to the action in a new expansive 3 mission campaign. Arm yourself with a bolstered cache of authentic World War 2 weapons and customize your operator with new character and weapon skins. Season Pass comes fully loaded with 3 campaign missions, 3 weapon packs, 3 weapon skin packs, 1 character skin pack, and the Target Fuhrer campaign mission. Season Pass content will become available in game once it is released. So I feel as though it's going to be quite similar to the Season Pass in Sniper Elite 5. We won't get all the uh, content in one go. It'll probably be staggered out separately um, in the uh, picture that I found on the Steam uh, website. You know, you got uh, 1.0 bundle, you got 1.1 bundle, and 1.2 bundle. So it looks like those are going to be like, you know, three separate releases for the Season Pass. I believe that's similar to was done before and also notice here that the um i think the target fuel mission could be called lights camera Aptung. now i don't know if that's just supposed to be a play on words but i'm assuming this could be that maybe the fuhrer is recording a video or film or doing some sort of uh propaganda making and then you have to go in there and stop him from doing it now that's just my assumption i don't think he's maybe doing some kind of acting in a film or some kind of play or something like that that would be a bit far-fetched but maybe he is doing something to try to uh, bolster the um the access side of the war but uh, you have to go and stop him from doing that so who knows maybe that is maybe it isn't that's just me thinking off the top of my head definitely would like to see uh something um unique in that aspect there and also from what we can see here is that the uh, weapons to be available in the season pass now I'm not too much of a uh, history buff to know my weapons but looking at 1.0 bundle um, looks like that the second weapon there is some sort of submachine gun looks very similar to me to be like an mp5 variant or maybe like a predecessor to mp5 and it also looks like as though it's a suppressed version like an integrated suppressor as part of the barrel now that's just me I'm thinking about time ahead but it does remind me of the mp5 now was the mp5 a german built weapon i could be wrong i could be totally off track but um it'd be interesting if there was like an mp5 in this particular game or something like it reminds me of mp5 um pretty much one of my favorite weapons in military shooters and of course you got other weapons there looks as though there's like some uh semi-automatic weapons maybe a shotgun i could be totally wrong and there's a pistol and of course as mentioned there you got you know character skins and weapon skin in all honesty though um with season pass content i'm really only focused on the campaign missions and the weapons because they, they pretty much affect gameplay and what you can do uh skins for weapons and characters uh, so skins for weapons and characters even though they're very nice i don't really consider them too much uh, of a game changer but i know there's probably people out there who love skins so much and they'll be happy with you know what the characters look like maybe look differently uh, we know that in sniper league 5 uh carl fairburn had a british bomber outfit he had like a resistance uh french outfit as well so you know it could be the same in this regards where harry hawker has something similar to uh what carl was using beforehand as well but uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the season pass encompasses and hopefully the campaign missions will be nice and chunky in a big way to add longevity and replayability. Uh, I know some of the missions in Sniper Elite 5, they were really well done, or DLC missions I mean. Uh, one or two could have been a bit more better, but uh, you know, I don't know how games are developed. I can't say what the reasons were. I felt as though maybe some were a bit lacking somewhere, but they were still good nonetheless. So hopefully the... Um, other missions coming out in the season pass will be just as good as what's in the campaign you know we didn't get much in the campaign uh we know what we've seen from before that yeah, we got the two missions that we've seen previously so this one including the behind enemy lines from this on the dam and then in the last i guess live stream or videos that we played out was the dead drop mission in that castle town area which was a uh, nice as well so so far from the missions we've seen um looks as though it's going to be a good mix of uh, gameplay and variation for the Sniper Elite franchise. So definitely looking forward to playing this game when it comes out next year. So, wow, uh, a lot to take in well, from my point of view, but uh, definitely appreciate that uh, Rebellion have given some information or new information, especially look forward to the release date. Once again, it's January 30th, 2025. Um, so that's about just three months or so from now. So not too long to go, especially after the holiday season we've got something to look forward to in the new year 
and hopefully be just as good or maybe even better than Sniper Elite 5. Um, looks as though it's going to be quite similar, similar in terms of uh, gameplay and mechanics and whatever. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, and I think if uh, other people are happy too, they'll enjoy what's, uh, what's to offer you by Rebellion. But uh, yeah, definitely want to get my hands on this ASAP. If somehow I do manage to get my hands on maybe um, something early and I'm given access to it, hopefully I can make a video. But you know, I think that's what they said in live stream, this mission is still in development. So I don't think that might be a possibility, but you never know. Hopefully, um, you know, something something uh, positive will come out of this and they say, oh, look, we can uh, give out some gameplay or give out some more gameplay to people to see or maybe even get early access in some kind of demo aspect to it. Uh, but you never know. Anyway, I'm just rambling on now there, just thinking I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, it's kind of late now as I'm <laughs> recording this video, so I'll probably head off soon. But yeah, definitely happy we got this information. We know what's going to come out and looking forward to playing this pretty much as much as other people as well. Okay, enough jibber jabber from me guys. Thanks for watching this. If you're new, please subscribe and we'll catch you later. Bye bye.